All right, guys, we have breaking XRP news to talk about in this video. This is extremely bullish. Despite the market pulling back here to start October, despite all of the negative news that has come out today, when you zoom out here, look at big picture, this is huge for XRP. So what I need you guys to do, smash that like button. This video needs to send and go out to everybody because if they have not seen this and if they don't understand why this is so massive, they need to see it in this video. So smash the like button if you're on YouTube. If you're on X, I think there's a like button there too. Retweet it. Get this thing spreading because Ripple just announced something massive. Ripple receives in principle approval, guys. From the Dubai Financial Services Authority, or the DFSA, yes, DFSA has approval unlocks Ripple's end-to-end -end payment services in the UAE. This is going to significantly boost Middle East operations. We've talked about what Ripple's been doing. Ever since they've been stuck in this lawsuit in the United States, they have expanded in the Middle East. They have expanded into Europe. They have expanded in Asia. And Ripple, obviously now, They've been the leading provider of digital asset infrastructure when it comes to cross-border payments. They have secured in-principle approval from the Dubai Financial Services Authority to expand its services from the Dubai International Financial Center. This milestone strengthens Ripple's global footprint as the regulated entity enabling and uh, introducing seamless cross-border payment services. With this, with this news, with this news, what does this mean? What are the next steps? Why is this so crucial? Ripple now is scheduled and set to roll out its enterprise-grade digital asset infrastructure to a much, much broader base in the UAE now with this news. This expansion is aligned with Ripple's mission of providing businesses with faster, more cost-effective, and more efficient cross-border payment solutions by combining robust regulatory compliance with ongoing investments in critical infrastructure components such as liquidity, best-in-class custody, the on-ramps, the off-ramps between fiat and digital assets. This is absolutely enormous, but there's more. There's more here than meets the eye. Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple's chief executive officer, had a few things to say. said, blockchain and crypto technologies are here to stay. With its forward-thinking regulatory approach and clear guidelines for innovative businesses seeking to invest and scale, the UAE has positioned itself as the global leader in this new era of financial technology. And somebody who has been to the UAE, guys, I will tell you, they are light years ahead of the United States and so many other places in terms of what they're doing in this sector. Now, Ripple will be the first blockchain-related payments service provider to now be licensed by the DFSA. This is huge. And again, the DFSA is the independent regulator of financial services conducted in or from the DFI, excuse me, DIFC. Now, uh, when we talk about just how big this is, this new in-principle license is part of Ripple's much, much bigger strategy here to collaborate with regulators and policymakers worldwide. They're starting in the Middle East here. They're, they're putting a huge foothold and having a big footprint in uh, Asia as well. But this is, one, this is them wanting to have a worldwide integration with a compliant blockchain and crypto technologies that complement the existing financial system. Ripple now holds over 55 licenses, 55 licenses worldwide, guys, okay? Uh, including another place I just went to, the Monetary Authority of Singapore. They've got one in the New York Department of Financial Services. They've got one in the Central Bank of Ireland. And they have continued to prioritize regulatory compliance first in order to support blockchain adoption in financial services we know that this is coming up on a big week as the SEC will have its final opportunity to appeal or will Ripple just pay the $125 million fine and be done with all of this BS? XRP could be getting ready to unlock massive amounts of liquidity in terms of investors coming in once this is all set and done 
even people like Da Vinci, Jeremy, uh, people who are not even XRP maxis, people who hate XRP are even saying that XRP looks very, very interesting from an investment standpoint right now. Given all of the positive sentiment, we've got more obviously here with this news today. And uh, Ripple's recently announced partnership with the DIFC Innovation Hub in Dubai there is part of the company's global 1 billion XRP fund program. We've talked about this before, which obviously uh, is helping strengthen blockchain and digital asset innovation across UAE, across the world, uh, by connecting emerging developers with these networks. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what's, uh, what, what is happening right now with Ripple Labs and XRP, guys. If you got some value out of this video, let me know in the comment section below. Give me your thoughts down there as well. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and uh, share this out there because this is huge for the next evolution of what Ripple wants to do over these upcoming years. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.